Well, hello there. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Madam Shaza and I teach science for Form 1, Form 2 and Form 3 at Sekolah Mendengar Sains Tuan Kumunawe. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the stimuli and responses in plants. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the parts of a plant that are sensitive towards stimuli. You should also be able to justify how responses in plants ensure the sustainability and survival. Like humans and animals, plants can also detect stimuli and respond to them. However, their responses do not involve the movement of the whole body. Only certain parts of the plants are involved. Hmm, will a plant grow faster if you talk to it? Hello, plant. Please grow faster. After a week, why is the stimulus given not effective? Generally, plants respond to four main kinds of stimuli. Light, gravity, water and touch. Some plants also show responses to stimuli such as touch, temperature and chemicals. There are two types of responses, which are tropisms and nastic movements. Examples of tropisms are phototropisms, geotropism, hydrotropism, and thigmotropism. Tropisms are directional growth responses of plants towards external stimuli such as light, water, gravity, and touch. By tropism, a part of a plant grows in a certain direction as a response to the stimulus. Tropisms occur slowly and usually unnoticeable. When the part of a plant grows towards the stimulus, the response is called positive tropism. When the part of the plant grows away from the stimulus, the response is called negative tropism. Tropisms are named according to the stimulus involved. The first one is phototropism. Phototropism is the response of plants towards light. Shoots of plants show positive phototropism, which is a growth towards the direction of light. As plants need light to carry out photosynthesis, positive phototropism ensures that the shoots and the leaves of the plants obtain enough sunlight to make food through photosynthesis. Meanwhile, the roots grow away from the light. They are said to be negative phototropism. The second one is geotropism. Geotropism is a response of plants towards gravity. Roots of plants show positive geotropism, which is a downward growth towards the direction of gravity. Positive geotropism allows the roots of plants to grow deep into the ground to grip and stabilize the position of the plant in the ground. On the other hand, shoots of plants show negative geotropism, which is an upward growth in the opposite direction of gravity. Negative geotropism allows the shoots and leaves of plants to grow upwards to obtain sunlight for photosynthesis. The third one is hydrotropism. Hydrotropism is the response of plants towards water. Roots of plants show positive hydrotropism, which is a growth towards the direction of water. Positive hydrotropism allows the roots to obtain water to carry out photosynthesis and absorb dissolved mineral salts to stay alive. This response is often stronger than the response to gravity. Thus, roots can grow sideways or upwards in the direction of water source, ignoring the gravity pull. Shoots, on the other hand, grow away from water. They are said to show negative hydrotropism. The last one is thigmotropism. Thigmotropism is a response to a touch. Tendrils or twining stems show positive thigmotropism when they cling onto whatever objects or other plants they come into contact with. This response enables plants to grow upwards to obtain sunlight and grip objects to obtain support. Roots, on the other hand, show negative thigmotropism since they avoid any object that obstructs their search for water. Just now you have learned the four common tropisms in plants and their benefits. The second type of response in plants is nastic movements. 
Gnostic movements are non-directional movements of plant parts in response to external stimuli. This means that the direction of response in a Gnostic movement does not depend on the direction of the stimulus. A Gnostic movement can be quick or slow, but it is more obvious than tropism. There are three types of Gnostic movements, which are photonastic, seismonastic, and thermonastic. Photonastic is the response to light commonly shown by flowers. For example, a morning glory blooms when there is sunlight, and the sunflower blooms in the direction of the sunlight. Seismonastic is the response to touch. For example, the Mimosa pudica quickly folds its leaves when it is touched, and the leaves of the Venus flytrap will close and trap the insects that land on it. These Gnostic movements serve as a defense of the Mimosa species against its enemies and strong wind. The last one is Thermonastic. Thermonastic is the response of plant parts towards temperature. For example, the petals of tulips will bloom at high surrounding temperature at the end of spring. I hope you learned something from our lesson today. See you again in my next video.